Hey everybody, Kendall with Black Ovis, and mid-season is right around the corner. I've got an archery uh, deer and archery elk tag here in Utah in a place we call the front. We love that place. It's cold, it's steep, and so I'm going to go over my Sitka kit if I'm heading out to hunt tomorrow, mid-October. And this might apply to any of you guys, uh, but I'm going to tell you the pieces I absolutely will use, not the fringe pieces, but just my core kit. Starting with the bottom. Merino base layer from Sitka. It's the softest. I've used all of them. I've used every kind of Merino in and outside the hunting industry. In my opinion, this is the best as far as softness. It's thin, provides a little bit extra warmth on those extra cold days uh, as we dip down into like the 20s, mid, mid days up into the uh, like 40s and 50s. Second piece, mountain pant. I will run this without the base layer most of the time. But on the super cold, if it gets, like we've got a, a storm front coming in uh, here in the next few days. If that's the case, I'm throwing the base layer on. Most of the time, I'm just running the mountain pant. For that mid-season hunt, it is, uh, it's really hard to beat. It's, it's an absolute, and, I, and that's one I grab for. Even if it's not raining or not wet or there's no snow, I will oftentimes run gaiters, particularly in the morning, especially if I'm hiking a certain amount of distance and I'm not wearing a base layer bottom. This will increase the warmth in, my, in, my, in the bottom without adding a bunch of bulk and then that comes off right uh, kind of when the action gets good. You know, it is loud and you get a little bit of noise, but I, 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 I wouldn't overlook the gator. So these will oftentimes be part of my kit mid-season, uh, what I personally love to do. On the top, running uh, Merino base layer shirt. You can look at any sort of brand. I'm using the Black Ovis 150. Lightweight merino t-shirt is, is essential. I do, if, if I get, if I am hunting an all day, which I typically do here on the front, I will sometimes pull off layers and pull that off and then run the rest of this kit. Uh, but I do use that particularly in the morning uh, and I like the added warmth right in the midst of the core and, and the, the, the wicking part. Core lightweight hoodie. I mean, I don't know how many times I gotta say this, but if this isn't in your kit, well, okay, let me back up. If you're not a hoodie guy, then yeah, this isn't your jam. But if you don't mind the hood and you want that concealment, if, especially if you're an archer, you want that concealment of having that full optional mask that you can like basically pull over and have up here, don't mess around. Get a core lightweight hoodie and it's, uh, it's the real deal. On the next layer, this is the heavyweight hoodie. I probably, no, mid-season, this is always on. I'm not, this is non-negotiable. Core light, the, the base layer, uh, merino t-shirt, core lightweight hoodie, and the heavyweight hoodie, absolute. The one thing I like about this hoodie over the core hoodie, um, well, let me throw it on real quick, because this is pretty interesting, the microphone's gonna get a little scratchy, but just to show you, there we go, camera guy's probably not happy, but just to show you, the, the, when you zip up the top, and I'm always wearing a ball cap, I don't use it on a beanie, but it zips up, can you hear me now? It zips up pretty darn high. So I really love this piece and it and it's it separates itself from any other type of hoodie because of the height of the zipper. The core lightweight hoodie zipper only comes to here and the face mask tapes up that additional. Um, but I love the heavyweight and a lot of times I won't even pull the lightweight over. I'll just pull the heavyweight over top of my ball cap. And I never really wear a beanie. It's not, uh, not my deal. I do love the ball cap and I like the sunshade. So that's the next piece. Core active hoodie, excuse me, Kelvin active hoodie, um, AKA the Belichick. It's a fan favorite here at Black Ovis. Uh, this is the next essential. Not a lot of wind resistance. In fact, very little, but warmth to weight ratio, ridiculously good and doesn't add the bulk for me as an archer. I absolutely love this piece. I never leave home without it, especially in the mid season. Even on the early season, this is my insurance plan. On the late season or mid season, the, uh, the full puffy is my insurance plan. So that's in my pack. But starting out in October uh, on this archery hunt, this will be on my body more often than not. Kelvin active jacket, you might say, Kendall, this is redundant because I've got a, I've got a puffy down here and I've got the Kelvin active hoodie, plus I've got the, the heavyweight hoodie. Um, this is a redundant piece. Yes and no. Um, I'm not adding wind resistance, but as I, as I add each layer, if I have a multiple layers, I'm not gonna feel like miss the Michelin man because I'm not, it's not that puffy. 
but I'm adding a little bit of wind resistance. So I don't really have the need, me personally, for like a wind windproof layer. I have my rain gear, it's always in my pack, the dew point, and that jacket becomes my save all if I both hit weather or high winds or cold winds. But the active hood, the active jacket, the Kelvin active jacket from Sitka, it's been in the line a handful of years. And um, gosh, the more and more I use it, the more and more I can't go without it. it. It will oftentimes come on top of everything if I'm static. If I'm moving I'll, and it's cold, like real cold in the mornings, I'll leave it on. And I don't find that I overheat too much. I'll be zipping down both this one, this heavyweight, as I pull off the hood to regulate temperature. But I, I will find that I'll wear this piece more often than not. And sometimes I'll take off the Belichick and I'll put on the active jacket and run that with this, this uh, heavyweight hoodie. So active jacket for sure, 50-50. In the pack, 50% 50, 50 of the time. Out of the pack, 50% of the time. The last piece in my essential kit for hunting here in October, and this could go for any of you guys in, in you know, from Montana, Idaho. I mean, Montana is a little bit colder all the way down into Southern Utah, over in the, Col over in the Colorado, like I said, um, and you got you kids in Nevada, is the Aerolite um, uh, hoodie. This is a insulation layer. It, it is a little loud. I was, we were talking here in the office about it's not quite as soft and supple as the pre predecessor, which is the Kelvin light jacket. Um, but the reality is, is this is a jacket that I'm, I've gotten my pack most of the time. If I'm static or stationary, it's on my body. If I'm moving, it comes off. Rarely am I, am I moving with this jacket on unless I'm getting into very late season and it's extremely cold. Uh, oftentimes I'm using this on rifle hunts where I've got a couple hundred yards buffer and that crinkle crinkle that I'm hearing right here next to my body is not necessarily translating to sound unless we've got a super still morning and, and then it's going to drive me nuts like it would drive you nuts and you're going to take it off. But uh, this is my insurance plan. It stays in my pack, but when I stand still or when I'm, I'm sitting the glass or I stop even for like five, 10 minutes to have a drink or eat, some, eat something, I always throw it on even though I know I'm gonna be moving because I wanna retain as much of that heat so my body doesn't have to kind of reheat itself and reheat the core. This is my mid-season kit, my personal choice, not the fringe items that, of the Sitka line that I would add. Uh, but if I'm going hunting tomorrow, mid-October, uh, late October here on the uh, Wasatch Front in Utah, that's my kit. And i uh, love to hear what your kit might be. And if you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Like and subscribe to our channel so you can get more of these great updates on Sitka, Stone Glacier, Mystery Ranch, all the other key brands that we sell here at BlackOvis.com. Thanks for checking in. We'll see you soon.